Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Classic. It's a great Sunday morning. Good morning. Uh, I, I forgot to say good morning to BB too. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he <laughs> yes. Hey, well, it's a super Sunday morning. It's a great day to be alive in the Lord, connecting to God and His Word. All right, indeed, delighted. We call it a super Sunday morning because anytime you and I are connected to the God of the universe who told us to call him Father and to his word that is living, alive, and cannot return to him void, we can look for supernatural things because they're supernatural to us. They're natural to God, but things of the God order, the God kind, the God nature. Well, what is the God kind, uh, the God nature? Well, with him, there is nothing that is impossible. He is all knowing, he is all powerful, and he is unlimited and unbounded in presence. And as such, friend, his involvement and his presence at any time makes the impossible possible because those things that are possible with man are impossible with men are certainly possible to God. And so as we rest our faith in him, uh, I believe that we are to live a God possible life, a life that uh, is empowered by the ability of our father, the love, his wisdom, his resources, his presence continually uh, residing in, with, and upon us, operating through, for, and by us. Well, friend, we're kicking off a new series today as we're continuing and we're talking about stewardships and uh, being good stewards and working with what we have. It's so important to you hear this theme over and over again, the things that we teach of how important it is to know how we are made, who made us, and what we are made for, and what we're equipped and given. Let me give you a scripture to focus on as we start this off this morning, Romans chapter 14, and uh, verse number eight, the apostle Paul writing says, for if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. Verse nine, for this end Christ died and rose and lived uh, uh, again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. In other words, friend, that he is Lord of all. When he rose again in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20, he says, I am he that was dead, I'm now alive. And he says, all power in heaven and earth is, is now is in my hand. Why did he tell them that? He tells us all that, that we might know that whether we live or die, we live unto him. And as such, he is the Lord of both life and in death, that he transcends life and death. In fact, he says in, he, in John chapter 11, when he stood at the uh, tomb of his friend Lazarus and there, and, his, and, and, and Lazarus' sisters, Mary and Martha, as they grieved his death, he said to them, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He that believes on me shall never die. What does he mean by that? 
He means that you will always have my life because you will always be eternally connected to me and with me and I and you, and therefore you will be empowered in life. But why does the Apostle Paul tell us that whether we live, we live under the Lord, and if we die, we die under the Lord? I believe it's about stewardship, having a great, uh, the right perspective about life, that life is a gift that comes through our Lord, that it's given us to us by him, that we might steward it appropriately. And what does that mean then? How do I steward it? It is by living life unto him. You know, we're encouraged in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 23 that whatever we do in word or in deed, do it heartily as unto the Lord. You know, one thing about that is, is we, if we live our lives unto the Lord, when we die, we go unto the Lord. Yeah. And when we die, the only record that we have is the record of Enoch which is he walked with God and he was not and God took him. But before he left, he had this testimony that he pleased God. He, you know, is one of the heroes of faith mentioned in Hebrews chapter 11. And I believe that we are told that, that we ourselves would walk our lives out in a way of knowing first and foremost, we are God's pleasure. And in God's pleasure, that we would live lives that are lived unto him. How are you living today? What are you living unto? You know, this is important to love yourself, to love others, and to live unto and for others and for yourself and to enjoy life. But that is secondary to first and foremost, living your life unto God. Now, we can live lives unto God when we are certain of the thoughts and plans that he has for us, that they're good, never evil to prosper us, never to do us any harm, and to bring us to an expected end. That's what he says in Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11. Hey, we're off and running in this series, talking about working with what we have, living our lives unto the Lord, knowing that whether we live or die, we are the Lord's, and that he is the life giver, and that he is the sustainer of life. This has been our outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Exposures Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day. And join us this morning at 10.15 a.m. We're live and in person at the Banquet Hall of the Holiday Inn Express Mid-City right here in the Huntsville-Madison area at the old Madison Square Mall development uh, that's called Mid City. You'll see our signs as you come to the banquet hall and we'd love to see you there. Remember this, the dream of change is alive right here. But together we're the difference that makes a difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this super Sunday morning, Pete. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've been in the house for 53 plus years, and we're going to be in the house with you, brother. Yeah, hey, Jennifer, we're going to be in the house with you, brother. We appreciate you, Pastor. And man, thank you for that word this morning. We needed it. And you, man, you hit it right on the head. Look forward to talking to you again in the morning with another Christ with Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Blessings on you and the Gospel Explosion family, what you do every day. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye now. All right. Live or die, we live or die unto the Lord. And this is a joy for us, to knowing the great love that he loves for us, has for us, that there is nothing that we sow or give to him that he does not give in greater measure and detail back to us. We always reap more than we sow because of our Heavenly Father and our God. Let us walk in this life today. All right, hey, love to see you this morning. Of course, we'll be in person, as I mentioned, at 10, 15 a.m. right here in the Huntsville, Madison area at the Holiday Inn Express uh, in the Banquet Hall at the Mid-City location. Uh, of the Holiday Inn right next to Top Golf, And then we'll be online as always at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time are the times that we're on. 
and uh, we look forward to connecting with you. Remember this, God loves himself some you. We do too. You matter to God. You matter to us. Talk to you again real soon.